This cologne is over a hundred bucks. This one, about 35. But regardless of your price range, I'm gonna share some tips on how you can smell more attractive and you don't need an expensive cologne to do so. First, we have to attack our body's natural musk. Now, let's say you're a guy who showers once every morning, but by the afternoon, you start to smell a little strong and feel a little damp. One way to combat this is to start trimming your body hair. Now, it's no surprise that having a lot of body hair can cause some serious BO, as all that hair can trap a lot of moisture, and that's gonna create a perfect breeding ground for bacteria. So by keeping the hair low and close to the skin, it's gonna be harder to trap in that moisture. Now, when it comes to your armpits and the area downstairs, I like to keep it to a 0.5 guard closed against the grain. You'll not only smell better, it's more aesthetically pleasing, and nobody likes to look like an animal. But we still have an issue because keeping your hair trimmed isn't gonna stop you from sweating, and it's certainly not gonna do anything about the smell. You need something that's gonna help to mask that odor in the event that you start to sweat throughout the day. And that's why you should always be wearing a deodorant or an antiperspirant. This should be an absolute must in your routine. An antiperspirant is gonna help prevent you from sweating, whereas the deodorant is gonna help to mask that odor. Cause trust me, there's nothing worse than being out on a hot day and you smell like you just got back from the gym. Now tell me if this ever happened to you. You get home from a workout or playing ball, you take off your shorts and the scent hits you like a flash grenade, but you don't wanna get a separate deodorant for downstairs. A little life hack I found is using baby powder as a substitute. We've already established that we don't want any moisture trapped down there. That's what creates that musky smell. By using baby powder, you're able to dry out that area. Not to mention, it gives your junk a fresh smell. Trust me, bro, no girl wants to smell your 12 in the afternoon workout. It's, it's not it. You can even apply it to your armpits, but it's best to do this when you've just hopped out of the shower. Now, speaking of shower, have you ever wondered why so many girls smell amazing even when they don't wear perfume? It's because they do something that a lot of us guys don't, which is wearing a scented lotion or body cream. Not only will this leave your skin looking super soft and prevent ashiness, but it'll also give your body this pleasant scent. Now, it may not be as strong as wearing a fragrance or an eau de toilette, but it can be the difference between smelling delicious and smelling average. Now, we all know that colognes are great for making a first impression, but you can actually make the scent last longer by applying a layer of lotion or Vaseline to the skin before applying your cologne. But this next tip changed the way that I use fragrances. Did you know that there are specific areas on your body that can make your cologne smell stronger or last longer? So even if you have a $20 fragrance that you got from Walmart, you can still squeeze out a few more hours just by applying it to the pulse points on your body. These areas include behind the ears, the bottom of your throat, your wrists, and the inside of your elbows. Now these are the areas where your heart pulse can be felt, which makes them the best spots to apply your fragrance due to the warmth of your blood. Now my favorite spots are behind both ears and at the base of the throat, as this creates an intimate atmosphere which people can smell as soon as they get near you. So please stop doing this nonsense by spraying it into the air and walking into it. I promise you, you're just wasting money, you're wasting the fragrance, and it's also a waste when you spray it onto your wrists and you rub them together. You're destroying the top notes, which is gonna make the scent last less, 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 less long? Less? I was on a good roll just now. Now personally, I like subtle fragrances, like this one right here is 212 VIP Black from Carolina Herrera. But a phrase that I like to live by is, your fragrance should be discovered, not announced. This basically means you don't want your fragrance to be so strong that people are choking across the room. You want people to notice it, but you want it to be more of a like, hmm, this person, he smells good. I, want, I wonder, where, where does he get his cologne from? Let me talk to this guy. I'm intrigued, I, I, I wanna be around him. See, the girls will wanna be with you, the guys will wanna be like you. Now don't feel bad if you don't currently use this next tip as it's a little bit advanced despite its subtlety. But if you want a girl to know you're a man and not just some kid, then use drying sheets. Now we can all agree that there are very few things in life that can beat the smell of freshly done laundry. But if you wanna take it to the next level, get dryer sheets. Just take one of these bad boys, drop them in the dryer, and your clothes will smell addictive and so will you. Not to mention the next time you bring a lucky girl to your room, you won't be able to pry her away from your bed because of how good your sheets smell. Now, I once had this friend who had a very expensive cologne. I'm not gonna lie, I was jealous. But nobody liked being around him because he failed to do the one thing that every girl expects. And in fact, every guy should expect this too. Not just brushing your teeth, but scraping your tongue. I would argue that bad breath has very little to do with your teeth and everything to do with your tongue. 
Of course, plaque can build between your teeth, so make sure that you floss, but your tongue is a breeding ground for bacteria, and this yellowish bacteria is what creates that pungent smell. So if you wanna get rid of the smell, make sure to brush your tongue twice a day, and don't half-ass it either. Brush your tongue with the intention of scraping off that bacteria. Alternatively, if you don't wanna use your toothbrush, you can get a tongue scraper, you can get that for pretty cheap on Amazon, but just make sure that you're scraping that bacteria off of your tongue every day. But another way that you can keep your breath smelling fresh is by always carrying gum or mints. I don't care if you keep it in your pocket, in your car, in your bag. You can keep it in your underwear for all I care. You never know when your breath may start to smell off. And it may not even be your fault. You could just be hungry. But regardless, make sure that you always have some breath mints available, not just for your sake, but for the people around you. Now we all know that showering consistently is the bare minimum. There should be no circumstance in which you go days without showering. But a bonus tip is to use a body wash instead of a bar of soap as it'll last you longer and it'll also prevent that awful soap scum that you'll find accumulating near the bottom of your tub. Showering daily helps to get rid of that dried sweat and musk and it also helps to get rid of that bacteria that is helping your pits and your nuts. <laughs> I should have I should have thought that one through before I said that. Do not underestimate the power of a good shower. That's that that should be a slogan. But unfortunately, sometimes showering isn't enough to keep you smelling fresh, especially when it comes to your feet. That's why I always advise to alternate your shoes daily. Throughout the day, your shoes are accumulating sweat from your feet. This sweat leads to moisture, this moisture leads to bacteria, and bacteria is what causes that pungent odor. So when the next day comes, don't wear those same shoes. Instead, store them in a cool, dry place so that they can air out for another day. This will prevent your feet and your shoes from smelling awful. And trust me, nothing is worse from entering someone's home, taking off your shoes, and immediately being asked to leave. And if you want to go the extra mile, spray the insides of your shoes with rubbing alcohol, or you can use baby powder to get rid of that extra moisture. Now that you know how to smell amazing, it's time that you learn how to look amazing. So make sure that you watch this video next where I go over my five minute night skincare routine to help clear up acne. I go over which products to use and I even explain how ingredients like salicylic acid, retinol, and niacinamide work together to help clear up acne. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh,